This is a response to Nicholas de Salentio's recent video, um, where he's uh, talking about free will, etc. Um, value. Very, very good video. It gets you thinking. Um, I like um, aphoristic philosophizing. In other words, packing as much meaning or as much potential meaning into as few words as possible and send your mind in as many different directions as possible uh, with, you know, maybe half of a paragraph or something. Um, talking about free will versus the will versus determinism, all this sort of thing. As I say elsewhere, I think that the free will versus determinism thing might be in some ways, something of a false dichotomy, because the way that I can see it is, um, from the first-person perspective, from the point of view of consciousness, um, necessity is what is. Necessity is what comes at you. Um, all the myriad things that happen to you in your life that you have no control over, that you experience. Um, and the will goes out. Necessity comes in at you, the will goes out. And in many ways, this is something of a collision, right? It's um, because you can't really change necessity, but your will goes out into necessity and it kind of wants to change it, but it is necessity. Now, <clears throat> here we have, a, you know, the immovable object or the unstoppable force meets the immovable object. Um, now, what do you do with that? How do you make sense out of it? You know, the, it's been described, as I say, as a collision, an explosion, complete and utter chaos, um, a maw of a giant monster about to swallow you, but it's also got all these things flying out of its throat into your face at the same time as the monster is about to swallow you whole. Uh, you know, any number of descriptors. Now, he's talking about value. Now, an interesting way that I find of looking at that, and this is where the sort of aphoristic thinking comes in. Take um, the statement I think was attributed to Socrates, it's impossible to know what is right and still do what is wrong. Uh, impossible, provided you know what is right. Okay. Um, how do we know what is right? We don't, but we have to act, right? And what do we act based on? We act based on what we think is the correct way to act. Um, and we don't seem to have any choice to do that or not. It just seems to happen. Our will may exist, but it may not be free. Our choices may not be actually free, but they're still choices. We still choose one over the other, even though it might not be free. It is impossible to know what is right and still do what is wrong. Uh, that kind of um, narrows, if not closes, the gap between necessity and um, the will, or necessity and desire, or whatever, but I, the will is probably a better way to put it. Um, yeah, it, you kind of solve the problem of value by encountering it, not intellectually. It, it has to be, I think, solved in, as it were, real time or at the experiential level. You automatically go for a certain um, way of deciding between possible choices. You go for a certain choice over another choice. Now, whether or not that is a free choice is, might be a question of semantics, but a choice has been made. But why did you choose the one over the other? Were you free to not choose the other one? No, but you still chose. Um, necessity comes in, the will goes out. What do you, what does that say ultimately about free will versus determinism? Well, I think it actually makes the whole argument slightly academic, really. Um, because, again, to, to make those cases, you have to sort of step outside of the experiential. And the 
when you're discussing the will, you are by nature of discussing it at that level, the level of the experiential. Um, yeah, so what, what do we make of that? What do we make about a will that may not be free? Um, just a thought.